In this video, we are going to see two different methods to avoid enter a repetitive value into a list in Excel. Let's say you have a list of fruits, but doesn't matter, you can use any other criteria. Numbers, currency, dates, IDs for the products, and so forth. Uh, let's say I already have here banana in this list. So if I try to enter again, banana, and I'm going to hit enter, look what's going to happen. Enter. Okay, I'm going to have here a highlight indicating to me where I got the repetition of this value. And also, I'm going to have here this error message that is telling me this product is already in the list. Please update the existing one. And we can also customize this message. Let me click here, retry, and I want to input a different product because as this little yellowish tag right here is telling me, enter the new product, not a repetitive product. So let me try to enter another one such as grape and then enter. Okay, here we have a new product in the list. So let's take a look on those two different methods on how can we avoid repetitive values into a list in Excel, into a table, into a data set. Let's go. Let's get started with the first method that is using the data validation in Excel to help us. And you can either, it's very important to select the range. So you can either stick with a small range like this, or you can click over the column to select the entire column. I'm using here the column B, so I can click over the letter B to select everything. And then I can go to data, and here to the right, I can go to data validation, data validation. Okay, instead of using allow any value, I want to allow a custom, customized formula or function. And a function is what we're going to do here. The function that can help me within this empty bar is going to be equal sign count if, open parentheses. Basically, the count if is going to count everything that I have in the list. So, including the header, because I selected all this range within the column B. So, all the items that I have can only appear once in the list. So, apple, one, avocado, one, banana, one, and so forth. If I have here, again, down below, banana, the counting is going to be two. So, I cannot allow a number, a result that is greater than one, such as two, three, four, five, and so forth. So the count if function is going to use as reference everything that I have in the column B. So click over again the letter B, trauma, and as the criteria, I want to use the first cell. So B1, and then close parentheses, okay? And now we need to be very mindful because the result that we have always needs to be equal to one because the items can all appear once in the list. So, okay, equal to one. If the result is equal to two, three, four, five, and so forth, uh, the formula or the data validation is not going to allow me to input this value because look what we have here. Allow, allow only if this formula is equal to one, okay? And we can even use a input message such as, let's say, enter the new product. And as the error message, we can use something like this, for example. This product is already in the list. Please update the existing one. Let me click here, OK. And yeah, that's it. Whenever now I move throughout the cells, I'm going to have this little tag indicates what I need to do. Enter the new product. And if I enter here with a new product, such as, let's say, drape, enter. OK, no problem at all. At all. But if I use a product that I already have in the list, such as banana, let's go here again. Let's try to hit enter. Okay, I'm going to have the error message. This product is already in the list. Please update the existing one. Okay, let me retry this input. Let me use another one. Let's say item one, two, three, enter. So this is the first method that we can avoid repetitive values into a list in Excel throughout the data validation tool. However, there is another solution that we can use here. So how can I get rid of the data validation, let's say? Let's click again and select the entire range that we used it before, the same as we used before. And then we can go again to data validation, data validation, and I want to allow any value instead of custom, and we're gonna get rid of the formula. And another thing, input message, I can get rid of the input message, and also the error message, I can get rid of this message. And then OK. Now the list is working as before. I can do whatever I want to do here and input all the items. Uh, I can repeat items right here. 
So let's see. Another way to do it, the second method, is using the conditional formatting in Excel. The conditional formatting is not going to avoid you to enter repetitive values. However, it's going to highlight all those repetitive values. What we can do again is either select a small range like this or click over the column that you need to select everything. And then let's go to the home tab and conditional formatting. Here, we don't need to create a customized formula. However, you can also do a customi customized formula if you want to. But let's stick with highlight sales rules and duplicate values. Let's click here. And OK, all those values that are being duplicated, such as banana, are already being highlighted for me. And you can also change the criteria right here, unique and duplicate. And you can also change the highlight color and format, such as red, yellow, green, or you can also go to custom format to create your own format. But let's stick here with a red wish one and then OK, that's it. This is another way that we can avoid those repetitive values because there's many times that you don't want to, let's say, use data validation to avoid to enter the repetitive value, but you just want to highlight all those repetitive values. You can do like this, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below, and I see you tomorrow because every day has a new video.